Hello my fellow teabag, Cinerix77 coming at you today from the YouTube channel as always. As always, uh, got another Bali review for y'all today. Uh, and right now I can technically make a series, but uh, I might just go through and just relabel all this series, who knows. But today we're going to be talking about the very first butterfly Bali I ever bought. Yes, I still have it. Surprise, surprise. Uh, like y'all know right now, I didn't buy this for anything other than looks. I love the way the blade was shaped. Love the way the handles were shaped. Uh, I've had this thing going on... Let's see... About 15 years. Give or take. Yeah. Yeah, about 15 years now. Uh, got this thing when I was 18. Like I said, it's the very first Bali I ever bought. Let's go over some specs real quick. It's sitting at 8 and 3 quarters inches overall length with a 4 inch blade and a 3 and 5 eighths inch long cutting edge. Um, real quick. Overall. Oh, closed length is just at five inches. All right. Now, uh, on Bollies, I like to measure the width of the handle. On this one, it's just at uh, just at an inch at the fat spot. Um, and the reason why I uh, hit the camera with the Bolly, the reason why I like to uh, measure the width of the handle is because that's one of the things I look for. Uh, I can't have an extremely fat handle on a Bali, which I've had that happen before. Uh, I can't have too skinny of a handle, which has also happened before. Now, when it comes to profile-wise, I really do not care. As you can see, that's a fairly thin profile. That's more of your standard profile right there. You know... I'm fairly on the thinner side and then we got chunky and thin again and chunky again so yeah but yeah this is the very first Bali ever bought still have it as y'all can tell it's a rattler I'll call this my uh, my snake Bali because it rattles uh, now the blade steel is uh, your typical 440 Chinese stainless yay uh, does not hold an edge worth a damn but this is fun to flip uh, as you can see tons of freaking play and slap in this but my first volley I paid like 12 bucks for it, 13 including tax. Uh, I flip it every chance I get. I'm probably about to have to repin it sometime real soon. Um, and if I do do that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably uh, either sand or stone wash the blade. I know I'm definitely going to uh, pull the latch off. Maybe. I'm not sure. It's my first one. I just might leave it as is and toss it in display case and say my first accident. Because <laughs> the very first time I cut myself on a knife, bad, hardcore, was playing with this Bali. Uh, if I could find the damn scar, because it's hard to see now because it happened fucking 15 years ago. But I stabbed myself in the hand with this, trying to do a flip trick. Stabbed it pretty good. Pretty damn good. Um, but, that's neither here nor there. Uh, I'm not the world's greatest flipper. As a matter of fact, um, I tell everybody I don't know jack about flipping. I know a grand total of maybe five tricks. And that's it. Maybe five. And the reason why I say maybe is because 
I'm not sure if opening and closing counts as tricks. <laughs> but wasn't really big into uh, the whole flipping thing when it comes to bullies. I like the way they look. I like the way they handle. And those mofos who can sit there and make these dance, you know, the Macarena in their fingers. Fucking kudos to y'all. Uh, I can't do that. I bet you I probably could if I tried. Uh, I just don't want to lose a finger in the process, so I'm not going to try. There we go. That's that, y'all. Uh, is Blade. The only reason why I really still have it because it has sentimental value. You know, it's the first butterfly knife I ever bought. Hell, the same day I bought this, my dad bought this. He bought it from my mom, and because it wasn't like blue or pink or something like that, I actually wind up getting it for my uh, knife collection. And so that's the very first switchblade I've ever owned. And, uh, as soon as I get done with all these Bali videos, I'm actually got three Switchblade videos I'd like to do for y'all. So stay tuned for that. I also got three Stiletto videos that I'm going to be doing as well. Maybe four if I can find the fourth one. But that's digressing. Uh, some teasers right there for y'all real quick. See? Stiletto. Ooh. Alright. But, yeah, back to the Bali. Like I said, uh, the only reason why I bought this because I was actually addicted to the uh, shape of the blade and the shape of the handle. Uh, the handle looked really comfortable, and I was right because gripping wise, it really is comfortable. Uh, it's one of the most comfortable but uh, bollies I've had ever. You know, it's beautiful. I love it. But also. <laughs> my little rattlesnake alright y'all I'm going to cut this short before 8 minutes so you know hope this is entertained because I know it sure in the hell hasn't educated uh, hope you comment and subscribe if you have not pretty please do so uh, keep your finger in the troll thank you very much have a nice day y'all bye